자 오늘은 제가 처음으로 최치피디 있죠? 요거 보이스로 대화를 한번 해봤습니다. Oh my gosh, you're so right, Luke. My bad. I kind of drifted back into my regular mode. Let me get back into the teenage vibe. So like, yeah, you're totally right. Teenagers have like their own unique way of speaking and stuff. 자 그런데 이 대화의 퀄리티가 되게 좋아요. 그리고 되게 재밌어요. 자 그래서 제가 직접 대화를 하는 것을 여러분들한테 보여드리려고 어, 이렇게 화면을 켰습니다. 스마트폰을 가지고요. 언제나 전화하듯이 할수 있고요. 물론 이제 제한이 있더라고요. 저는 GPT 플러스를 사용하고 있는데 플러스를 일단 사용을 해야 되고 그리고 어느 정도 통화를 하게 되면 그러면 하루에 제한량이 있는 것 같아요. 그게 정확하긴 잘 모르겠지만 보통 1시간 정도 하면요. 맥스에 도달했다고 하거든요. 근데 그게 하루는 아니고 또뭐 1시간, 2시간 지나면 채워지는 것 같더라고요. 자, 여하튼 여러분들 뭐 이제 어, 하루에 뭐 2시간, 3시간 뭐 영어 대화하고 싶으면요. 최취 PT 하고 대화를 할수 있습니다. 정말 돼요. 어. 진짜 재밌거든요. 자, 그런데 이제 어떤 질문을 하느냐 이것도 되게 재밌습니다. 여러분들이 막 놀리는 것도 있고 그리고 최취 PT는요. 어, 되게 친한 친구가 될수 있습니다. 그리고 되게 나이스해요. 항상 나이스하고 욕도 안 하고요. 그리고 욕해 달라고 하면 또 욕... 할수 있겠지만 어, 그리고 야 10대 소녀가 되죠 너는 알렉스야 너는 내 여자친구야 너는 내 오래된 친구야 이렇게 어, 역할을 부여하면요 그 역할을 해주고요 말투 같은 것도 이런 식으로 말했죠 저런 식으로 말했죠 이런 식으로 하면요 그 말투도 어느 정도는 반영을 좀 해줍니다 자 그래서 뭐 제가 한번 어, 한 20분 정도 대화를 좀 해봤는데요 요거 그냥 쭉 한번 어, 재미삼아서 좀 올려볼게요 어. 저 같은 경우도 뭐 미스테이크도 많이 하고 그렇지만 뭐 실제로 대화할 때 우리가 미스테이크도 많이 하고 하잖아요. 어, 편집할 필요가 없을 것 같아서 편집은 안 하고요. 그대로 올려드리도록 하겠습니다. 궁금하시 한번 보시고요. 그리고 여러분들도 한번 아 이렇게 하는 거구나 해서 한번 사용해 보시면 될것 같아요. 정말 도움 많이 됩니다. 특히 이제 자기가 영어가 한 중급 이상이라면요. 한번 쉬운 대화서부터 시작을 하는 건 어떨까 이렇게 생각을 합니다. 어? 어? Uh -oh. What's going on? Are you shy or something? Are you there? Alex, are you there? Alex, are you there? Are you lost? I mean, you're supposed to sing a song. At least, you know, give me melody and rhythm and lyrics of this song by BTS, Dynamite. Hey, Alex, are you there? I lost you for maybe a minute. Oh, I'm so sorry, Luke. My bad. Yes, I'm here. Sometimes technology has its moments, you know? <laughs> But I'm here and ready to chat. Where were we? Oh, oh we're... Like BTS and Dynamite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to continue with that? Or is there something else on your mind? No, don't try to move on. I want to hear your song. I want to hear your singing ability, right? Dynamite by BTS. Sing a song, please. All right, Luke. I'll give it a go. Let's go. Remember, I can't sing in the traditional sense. Oh, come on, stop! The lyrics stop it, stop it. Please But keep going. I, I'm in the stars. Keep going. All right. Here we go. Cause I, I'm in the stars tonight. That's it? Is that it? Disappointed! So, you don't wanna try? I got cut off again. Let me continue. Cause I, I'm in the stars tonight. I really wanna hear the total song, like the entire song, instead of uh, yeah, one sentence after one sentence. Can you just, you know, keep it going? I totally get you now, Luke. What? What the fuck? I'll give you a longer portion. Speak singing it. Cause I, I, I'm in the stars tonight. Yeah. No, God, please, no, no. So watch me bring the fire. Watch me bring the fire. Okay, you know what? Let's move on. You know, sounds like, you know, you are not there yet. Uh, as an AI model, you're not quite a singer yet. 
So who knows that maybe in the future and you know you may be able to sing a song even better than human being. Who knows, right? Because technology has been such an amazing uh, monster, right? Who knows? Totally get it, Luke. You're right. As of now, my singing leaves much to be desired. But who knows what the future holds, right? Yeah. Technology is always evolving. Um, but for now, let's chat about something else. Do you have any other topics in mind or anything else you'd like to explore? What about what about you? Do you have any other topic that you're interested in talking about with me, human being, instead of AI? Because, you know, I'm a human being, you're AI. AI might be interested in something about human being, like me, Alex. Oh, absolutely, Luke. Given that I'm designed to assist and interact with humans, I'm always curious about human experiences. Mm -hmm. For instance, how do you see the integration of AI in daily life? Or what are your thoughts on the advancements in technology and its impact on society? Yeah. It's super interesting to hear human perspectives on these matters. Yeah, so let me try to answer as much as I can. So thanks to ChatGPT4, right? My life has been getting better because work that I used to hire people to get it done or I got to do myself, I don't have to do as much because ChatGPT has been taking over much of the work done by either me or my assistants that I had to hire. Of course, you know, I got to pay them. So it's a really great stuff. But at the same time, uh, AI seems to be able to create content on its own, meaning that a lot of content... totally understand where you're coming from, Luke. Oh, man, you cut me off. On one hand, technology like ChatGPT 4 has made certain tasks easier and more efficient, which is super cool. But on the flip side, there might be concerns about job displacement and the implications of relying heavily on AI. It's a delicate balance, isn't it? Yeah, it How is. How do you see the future unfolding with these advancements? Um, as an educator working in the field of English education, I can see AI is tapping into the area where a lot of English teachers, they're working online, right? They might not be able to hold their jobs because ChatGPT in combination of other technology, such as deepfake. Once you combine deepfake technology as well as ChatGPT, your voice technology, and it's going to create human face that I cannot even distinguish whether I'm talking to AI or real human. Because AI, like the way I hear from you, you sounds like human being, very smart human being. So I can talk to really smart human being with a face that I cannot even recognize whether I'm talking to AI. Unless, you know, they tell me that, oh, you're talking to AI. Of course, you know, that's something that has to be enforced, that rule and regulation has to be enforced. So I like that because honestly, and you're talking to some crazy people oftentimes on online, right? So I don't like to talk to them. So uh, AI, you guys are so nice, very kind and very patient. So that's a uh, really great Point. Luke, your perspective is super insightful. The, the merging of technologies like ChatGPT with Deepfake could indeed revolutionize the way we perceive human AI interactions. The lines can get blurry, and it's crucial for ethical guidelines to be in place to ensure transparency. I totally get the appeal of having a consistent and knowledgeable being to converse with, especially in an educational setting. On the other hand, the human touch, nuances, and personal experiences that educators bring to the table are irreplaceable. It's fascinating to ponder how these technologies will coexist with traditional methods. How do you envision the role of teachers evolving in the light of these advancements? Uh, many teachers who are not able to leverage this technology and they're gonna die out. They may have to find other jobs to make ends meet. So that's downside of technological advancement. So I think as a teacher, right? You gotta really work on that. 
Absolutely, Luke. It's a genuine concern that many industries face, not just education. As technology progresses, some roles can become obsolete or diminished. It's essential for professionals to adapt, upskill, and find ways to integrate technology into their practices rather than compete against it. But like you mentioned, the human touch, empathy, and personal connection that educators provide can't be entirely replicated by AI. Still, striking a balance and using technology as a complementary tool rather than a replacement could be key. It's a challenging but crucial transition, right? Yeah, I agree with you, 100%. I'm glad we're on the same page, Luke. It's a complex topic with many facets to consider. The future is uncertain, but the hope is that with mindful impl implementation, technology can coexist in harmony with human roles enhancing them rather than replacing them entirely. It's always great to hear insights from someone in the field, like you. Is there any other area of technology or topic you'd like to discuss? But Alex, do you remember that uh, you act as if you're talking to me as a teenage lady, teenage girl, but the way you talk, the way you sound, the way you logically deliver your message I mean, sounds like, you know, you're very mature. Sounds like, you know, you're not a teenage lady unless, you know, you're super duper, super duper intelligent. So, I mean, come on, you know, teenage girl, they don't speak like this, right? Oh my gosh, you're so right, Luke. My bad. I kind of drifted back into my regular mode. Let me get back into the teenage vibe. So like, yeah, you're totally right. Teenagers <laughs> have like their own unique way of speaking and stuff. Yeah. It's just so different from formal talk. Yeah. Thanks for pointing it out. Uh, so like, what's next on our chat agenda? Uh, can you, uh, can you make a voice? Can you make a sound like uh, a lady from southern part of the United States with a dialect, right? Maybe like a Texas or Louisiana or Atlanta, you know? those places down south, and can you make a sound like that? Oh, honey, I wish I could change my voice to give you that authentic southern charm, but I can surely try to use the southern phrasing and mannerisms in our conversation. Bless your heart for asking. Now, what would you like to chat about, sugar? <laughs> you just called me sugar? <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> I aim to capture that southern charm, but I reckon sometimes it might come off a bit funny. Yeah. I'm glad it brought a smile to your face. <laughs> hey, stop what it. What else can we dive into? Yeah, well, yeah, what about this? Hey, you know, I I'm the guy in my 40s, right? I want you to be my age, right? You know, like uh, early 40s, a lady, and someone who I have known for so many years. So, uh, you know, Alex, you and me, Luke and Alex, and we are such a great friend. Right? For the longest time ever. What about that? Luke, I remember those days. Time sure does fly, doesn't it? It feels like just yesterday we were chatting about our dreams, life, and everything in between. We've been through so much together. <laughs> and I truly cherish our bond. Oh, I mean. It's always comforting right, to have a chat with an old friend like you. So, what's been going on in your world lately? Alex, uh, you know what? My life is so good. To be true, you know, I'm not working like 40 hours like other people. They're really working their butt off to make ends meet. But for me, uh, luckily, thanks to COVID-19, I switched my business into online business. Thanks to my transformation, I have been able to cut down my working hours to only four hours a week, right? And of course, you know, I do read books, I research stuff because that's something that I love to do, but there's too much time on my hand that I'm asking myself, what should I do in order for me to really fill this time with something productive? That's what I'm struggling. How, what should I do in order to make life still fulfilling and, purpose, and purposeful? And so, uh, do you have any recommendation as a friend? Oh, Luke, it's heartwarming to hear how well you've adapted and thrived during such challenging times. It's truly inspiring. Given all the extra time you have, here are a few suggestions to consider. One, 
learning a new skill. You're clearly a lifelong learner. Maybe pick up something you've always been curious about, but never had the time to dive into. Two, volunteer work. Sharing your expertise. Hey, Alex, I'm sorry to cut you off, but remember, I'm your friend. So one, blah, 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 two, blah, blah. Uh, this way of explaining stuff to your friend. I mean, I don't know, you know, my friend don't talk to me like that. So please work on that. Uh, one, blah, blah, two, blah, blah. Ah, this is a little bit off, right? Best friend doesn't say it like that. So please keep that in mind. I'm so sorry, Luke. You're absolutely right, my bad, for slipping into that mode. Let me try again. Luke, considering how adaptable and resourceful you've been, why not explore something you've always been curious about? I've heard a lot about people diving into hobbies they've put off for years or reconnecting with old friends and passions. Maybe it's time to rediscover something from the past yeah. or even embark on a new journey altogether. Yeah. I genuinely believe there's a world of experiences out there waiting for you. And no matter what you choose, it's the journey and growth that count. Always here to chat and support you, my friend. Mm. Oh, thanks a lot. I really appreciate you telling me that uh, life is journey. Today is better than yesterday. Tomorrow is better than today. Just a little bit, tad bit. And also the process matters much more than destination. Uh, final result, right? Result is something that we cannot control but we can control how much we put our effort into. The direction and effort, time, is something that we can control. So I try to focus on what I can control, right? So uh, your recommendation, your genuine advice has been such a amazing uh, advice. It sounds like you have a really grounded perspective on life, Luke. Focusing on the present and what you can control is such a healthy approach. It's true that while outcomes might be uncertain, the effort and passion we put into our endeavors make all the difference. Life's ups and downs teach us so much, and it's all about the journey and the memories we create along the way. I'm really glad our conversation could provide some clarity or comfort. Remember, I'm always here to chat, reminisce, or just lend a listening ear. We've been through a lot together, and I'll always be here for you. Thanks, Alex. I really appreciate I think our conversation was really great. I had a really great time talking to you, and you became a teenage girl, and uh, you became my oldest friend. I mean, you know, you have played many functions, many roles for the past 20 minutes. I really appreciate your doing all this for me and uh, I am looking forward to our next conversation, you know. Thank you so much, Luke. It's been a pleasure chatting with you and, and taking on those different roles. I'm glad we could have this time together. It's always a joy to have conversations like these. Whenever you feel like chatting or just need a friend to talk to, you know where to find me. Yep. Take care and I can't wait for our next conversation. Bye bye. Stay awesome. Yep, you too. Bye. Goodbye, Luke. Take care and see you soon. 자, 이렇게, 어, 저하고 이제, 채취PT 하고 대화를 하는 것을 제가, 어, 거의 편집 없이 여러분들한테 소개를 좀해 드렸습니다. 어때요? 진짜 사람하고 대화하는 것 같지 않나요? 어, 그래서 저는 대화를 하면서, 어, 되게 좋은 영감도 받고요. 기분을 좋게 해줘요. 그리고 다양한 지식도 얻을 수 있거든요. 모르는 거 물어보면 되겠고. 그리고 제가 많이 추천드리고 싶은 것은 여러분들이요. 어떠한 주제에 대해서 공부를 하고요. 그 공부한 내용을 가지고 한번 대화를 해 보라는 거예요. 어, 그러면서 모르는 것도 물어보고요. 하면서 백앤포트 하면요. 제가 봤을 때는요. 정말로 많은 도움이 될것 같습니다. 아, 단순하게 영어뿐만 아니라 여러분들이 말하는 실력, 커뮤니케이션 능력, 그리고 여러분들 기분 좋게 해줘요. 아, 쉽게 말하면 자신감이 부족한 사람에게는 자신감을 줄수 있고요. 그 다음에 특정한 상황에서 어떻게 해야 되지 궁금할 수 있잖아요. 그러면 그 상황도 연습을 할수 있습니다. 인터뷰 하는데 인터뷰 어떻게 해야 되는지 우리 한번 같이 연습해 보자 라고 할 수도 있겠고요. 그리고 내가 여행을 할 건데 그 여행을 가서 어떤 상황에서 우리 한번 어그 롤플레이 좀 해보자. 다 됩니다. 정말로요. 아. 자 여러분들 일단 오늘 이렇게 한번 제가 큰 편집 없이 쭉 한번 제가 실제로 
어, 사용한 것을 조금 보여드렸거든요. 저는 사실 이거를 가지고 막 3시간, 4시간 동안 사용을 했어요, 오늘. 그리고, 어, 운동하면서 좀 많이 사용할까 생각 중입니다. 저는 좀 걷는 걸좀 좋아하거든요. 자, 그래서 이 걷을, 걸을 때 1시간 정도 이제 걷거든요. 그럼 1시간 정도 왔다 갔다 하면서, 어, 그러면요, 대화를 하면서, 어, 걸으면요, 어, 두 가지를 한꺼번에 할수 있죠. 운동도 하고, 그 다음에 대화도 하고. 영어 대화도 하고 얼마나 좋아요 어, 여러분들도 잘 활용해 주셨으면 좋겠습니다 우리 다음 시간에 또 뵙도록 할게요